Hey y'all, it's Cherokee Starfish. And Specific Pixel. And welcome back to part six of Chrono Cross, where I believe that you have just finished uh, robbing Mel of her precious armor. I sure did. Because uh, I think I said, I, I don't remember if I actually mentioned it or not, I, I said several times that Mel is completely useless as a character and that I hate her. You uh, but she does have that. she does have one redeeming quality, which is that she comes with iron mail. Yep, that is true. Uh, she also comes with an iron weapon, but you can't take that off of her unless you have another weapon to give her. And she has a boomerang, which we have not uh, come across yet. So yeah. she gets to keep that for now. Yeah, because you can't make like a bone meringue for her to downgrade. Uh, no. It, so no, I cannot. Yeah, you know, RPGs, am I right? So, uh, you may recall, in our last stream, um, we reached a very important point in the game. Yeah, so, uh, last time we, uh, we got our boat, so we now have the entire archipelago that we can go to. Now, that does not mean that everything is opened up to us. A lot of things are locked behind plot, unfortunately. Uh, but we now have the whole isle, um, archipelago of El Nido that we can now explore. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing just a little bit of elemental uh, rearranging here right now because we did level up last time and I did not put elements in our slots. So I need to do that real quick and then we'll be setting sail. We've got a couple of things to do and then uh, we got some plot that we got to go through as well. So, as he said, um, you really get access to a lot of cool stuff. Uh, both items, of course, you know, the treasure that we're always after in a JRPG, but also just the beautiful scenery of this game world once you gain access to the boat. Oh, I do have a question for everybody, though. Uh, are we taking these two with us? Are we? Is it time to change up the party? We went through the entire marsh with uh, Dr. Hojo and Rumble here. That's true. We do have some new characters. We have quite a few. We're going to be getting uh, a couple more here, too, as well. Yeah, Dr. Hojo and Rumble have uh, have served us well, but if y'all want to see somebody else, then now may be the time. Or do you want to wait to introduce the next character? That might be a good idea, actually. So you know what? Um, these two get to stay for a little bit. Yeah, go ahead and finish their elements up, and then... Um, yeah. <laughs> while he does that, y'all have seen some of the characters that we have. Well, I mean, you've seen all the characters we've had, but you probably remember some of them. We have Girl back in our party. We now have Mel and Korcha as well. Um, we have, uh, you know, Palms, the Wonder Dog, of course. Uh, we have Lena. <laughs> Gotta and, love Lena. Yeah, <laughs> it's very good. Lena's so good. Um... And a number of others, including uh, Lucky, Neofio, so, uh, who I think we named. What did we call Neofio? Oh my god, I forgot what we called Neofio. I remember um, Razley is, is Keebler. Flowey. Flowey, that's right, god. <laughs> Uh, oh my we, God. we did pick up Lil Cha. Lil Cha. Uh, we still have Pierre, who gets uh, to keep yeah, his name. Yeah, we do still have Pierre. And we've got Cha Cha, who we also have not used. Mm. Uh, so, Pierre, our best friend. Oh, wait, no, Flowey, our best friend. Yeah, so. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Be thinking about who you would like to see in our party as we go on and pick up this next character. Mm -hmm. uh, speaking of which, I just got done, so we're going to go do that right now. Yeah, time to. Uh, take this new boat out for a test drive. A test sail? I always forget that you can a test row? use this thing. Oh, oh you fine. have to talk to the guy for the tutorial uh, first. It's so... Uh, uh, you know, um... Is Lucky any good? We were talking about tears last time, and of course that's something that... I usually don't tend to pay attention to in games with large character selections like this or like Suikoden or like Fire Emblem. I tend to latch onto characters that I like, personality and appearance wise, and like with their style of play. And then regardless of how good they are, I just use them. What about you? I tend to get a, 
really connected with certain characters for various reasons. Um, it's it's really weird. Listen, sometimes I just really get in get a hold of a character like Pip. Mm -hmm. The first couple of times I played this game, I really liked Pip and I liked using Pip. Pip is not a great character, guys. Yeah, Pip was a letdown for me. Uh, but we'll get into why later on. I don't want to reveal too much, but there's a specific reason. Um, but yeah, I think that um, Mojo is like a, a what you would probably call a C tier character or maybe a B tier because he does, yeah, as, as chat said, um, he's got really good evasion, but he's not super great at anything yeah. else. If I remember correctly, his health is pretty good as well. His magic is actually only meh, weirdly. Um, and his grid is okay, and his stamina regeneration is not really that great either. Yeah, which so are he's like the major... Oh, that's not Yeah, so he's, he's hard to hurt, which makes him a decent tank, especially as a, a black innate character. Um, but overall, he's just... He's very middling. Yeah. Now, of course, what that means is... Um, as with any character, as long as they have one good stat and don't suck too bad at anything else, you can always make it work. So any party combination is viable. It's just what kind of effort you, the player, are going to have to put into making it the most viable that it can be. You're going to have to range your element grid a little bit differently. You might have to use some different like buff and support spells, that kind of thing. Yeah, some of the characters uh, in here are a little weird with how the developers decided to move around their stats and things like that. Uh, the ones that come to mind is there are a couple of characters who have amazing element grids. Like, they get all kinds of slots for all kinds of elements, but their magic stat is really bad. And I don't know why you would do that. Uh, on the other side of that, some people have really, really bad element grids and can't have a whole lot of spells, but their magic is incredible. Right, um, like, even Guile, who is an absolutely an S-tier character, kind of falls into that latter category. As I've mentioned before, um, he has a reverse element grid. I just really like Guile a whole lot. Well, yeah, I do, but uh, also he's just a good example of this, where um, he has fantastic stats, he is the best spellcaster in the game, except for maybe Voltage himself. Um, and he's also physically the best out of the dedicated magic-using characters. He has the strongest physical attack and um, the most hit points and best stamina regeneration. But um, in the early game, you, he, there's a hump you have to get over because he has a lot of high-level elemental slots and not very many low-level slots. So... It's a, it's a cost-benefit thing. You have to invest in him to get it to pay off later, uh, whereas there might be other characters who have a much better lower-level element grid that satisfy your purposes more immediately. So every character works. Um, even those characters who don't have great uh, magic stats, but they have humongous element grids, right? Um, those are people who can be used for stuff like... Um, buffing spells and status effect spells like uh, turn blue, turn white, things like that. Yeah. Which, it doesn't really matter um, where you place them on the element grid because they're not going to get a huge bonus or like having a high magic stat doesn't affect the effectiveness of that spell. So, um, yeah, yeah, it, it is true because it, it is that balance of everybody, even magician characters like Guile, uh, have to hit people to build up elemental energy yep. and charge their grid. Ironically, so, a mage actually needs to have a high hit percentage more than anything else. Right, and that's one of the things that makes Guile the best caster in the game. Um, there are other casters that, you know, um, whoop. Yeah, I was going to say, you might want to go to Yeah, the I missed the guy. <laughs> <laughs> there are other casters that have great magic stats that they don't have great attack, and so what that means is it feels like when they are beating on people, their turn is kind of wasted because all you are doing is oh, pounding oh. someone uh, with their staff or whatever until they have enough energy to throw off a big spell. And that's fine, but... I was right, you actually have to come up here and then there's a little doorway, right? Yeah, here. you go right I always way. forget that. There you go. Yeah, see, chat knows. 
found this thing at the dried up waterfall. It's kind of creepy, so I'll give it to you for free. <laughs> no thanks needed. Don't mention it. I have nothing to do with it now, so see ya! What cursed item did you just give us? Oh, the oh, sturdy some ribs. sturdy ribs. Yeah, uh, I had a pretty good physique. Did I ever tell you I did acrobatics? Hey, that's right. I used to be a clown in the circus. We, no, duh. We would never have get. So Who raise your have raise known? your hand in chat if you knew, if you knew that <laughs> Skelly was probably a clown. Lord, I hope he was a clown. Because otherwise, why is he wearing that? I hope he wasn't a clown, because then I want to know the backstory. How did we get here? But for now, we're done here. Yeah, so Water Dragon Isle is a great first place to come, because you remember oh, that God, iron... absolutely. Yeah, iron is a, a rare crafting material at this point, but iron weapons and armor are really great. And so you can pick up a couple of iron there for basically free. Yep. And um, then that translates directly to a massive jump in weapons and armor. I know I've said it before, but I really love the art of this game. Yeah, uh, Square Soft games are always beautiful. I don't care which game you're talking about, even if it's a bad game. Um, you know, like, it, does, it doesn't matter. It is still beautiful to look at, and it is beautiful to listen to it. They always nail the art, and they always nail the soundtrack. Speaking of which... Which is so, probably why they're so protective over their copyright claims. Welcome to the Isle of the Damned, everybody. Uh, don't get used to it. We're not staying. Oh, we don't live here now? We do not. Oh, let's see. This is just where millennials are from. We are here. You'll notice the crunchy footstep sound effect, speaking of, you know, like, the sounds. Um, because... Uh, this entire island is basically just made out of bones. <laughs> Speaking of which, here we go. Now you'll notice there's not a whole lot on this island. We're mostly just coming here for this right now, although we will be back. Oh man, I don't know which bone is which. I'll just connect whatever. Yeah, the foot bone's connected to the leg bone. Leg bone's connected to the knee bone. Okay, I'll, I'll shut up. But seriously, thanks a lot, guys. I'm finally in one piece now. I'm sure we'll meet again somewhere, someday. One of these days, I'll return the favor. And so now, of course, you check your inventory. Yep. And... Oh, I didn't show you guys the ribs and the mixed bones. Oh, Aww. that's fine. I'm sure you can imagine what they look like, but now what's important is that they're all gone. Yeah, all the bones are gone now. Yeah, so these bones were made for walking. Hmm. Yes. Also, thank God there's nothing here right now because I hate the Isle of the Dam. Yeah, the monsters here can be really awful. Alright, but speaking of our good friend Skelly. Yep. I don't know why that's there, but I love it. Just to help you get around faster, Whoop, I guess. I passed it up. We are gonna go see him again right now. I don't know why Korcha can dock in Termina, but when we have the boat, we can. Oh, you don't have the permit, remember? You're not bringing them the dragoon juice. Oh my or god, whatever. you're right. That yeah. is the reason, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that was, that's actually established. <laughs> I hate that. I hate that you're right about that so much. Yeah, you don't have the juice. Uh, anyway. Blame it on the juice. Let's go get a let's go get our friend back. Look a nice old lady. Hey, grandma. Strange. That clock hasn't moved for ages. <laughs> I that love running rides. animation. Oh my god. I, I'm home. That voice. Could that be you? It's me, Skelly. I have come back home. Skelly? Oh, Skelly. Yes, that is your actual name and not just like an abbreviation of skeleton. No, we actually called you that on paper. Come over here and let me hug you. 
grandma. Skelly. Oh, Skelly, why are you so thin? Haven't you been eating well? Grandma. I don't know how to break this to you, but you're blind, apparently. <laughs> oh, it's all right, Skelly. I'm just so happy you're back. It must have been very hard on you. Don't leave again. <laughs> oh, don't cry so much. My clothes will get all wet. I don't think so. I'm not crying because I'm sad. I'm crying because I'm so happy. You always told me don't hold back tears of joy. Oh, Skelly. This is so hard. That sounds exactly like the kind of cheesy shit that I, a JRPG grandma, would indeed say. Hmm, yes, a unique appearance. <laughs> We're just happy to have him back. The Oh, the most supportive. We stand a non-judgmental family. Oh, to have Skelly come back to me, the gods must have answered my prayers. I thank the heavens with all my soul. What a good, wholesome family. I love Grandma and Skelly and their maid? And whoever that is, her hospice worker? I guess so. I'm really not sure. And we leave them alone for about two seconds before we go back inside. Yeah, maybe maybe a cousin. That was kind of always my assumption. Oh, to have Skelly come home? Wait, I already said this. <laughs> Grandma's looping. Yeah. <laughs> ah, thanks, man. Thanks to you guys, I can hang with Grandma again. Oh, she knows all the best wild spots and hole-in-the-wall party places. <laughs> she looks like she would. Ask me if there's anything I can help you with. Please. Skelly became the life of your party. <laughs> oh, so we have a new friend. And we get to name this new friend. You all know the drill. Fleshy? <laughs> Fleshy? Boner? I'm crying. Ah! Oh no! Chat. Oh no! Meats? Oh no! <laughs> Chat, guys. Oh. I love you all, but oh. oh my god! No, no, this is what we wanted. No, this is what they wanted, but it's still grade A. Oh. It's still gold star. Yes, grade A meats. Oh no. Oh, I, I can't possibly choose. I, I think they've chosen for us. Boat, I think boater? it's, I All think, caps? I think it's boner. Oh, um, okay. This is what the people want. Give the people what they want. If they want a boner, they get boner. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. Oh, no. Blocked. Redacted. Uh, Cancelled. <laughs> I'm kidding, I love it. Oh my god. Oh, I hate this. Uh, Hit confirm. Boner rises to the occasion. Oh no. So, um... You know... As you, you will... You know they're gonna want us to take Skelly. Uh, so this is a great place for a party change. Yeah. Who should we take through the next section of the main story, which is where we're going from here? As if we didn't know. <laughs> yeah. It oh, is. for your information. Um, oh, um, Skelly is black innate. If that means anything to you guys. <laughs> yes. In case you're looking at party balance. Oh boy. Oh. Boner God. and Plowy. Wait. Oh no. Don't you dare. <laughs> I am not turning this into Undertale. <laughs> oh no! I just heard spaghetti thwap against the receiver. <laughs> Stop plaguing our lives with incidental trombone music. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, that other famous game that he's that he's also in. Uh, TM, TM, TM. Yeah, we... Uh, I got it. Thank you. 
Okay. I take it nobody else has any other suggestions. Wow, that sounded like a request for rescue. <laughs> it's okay. I'll live with it. It's all right. Wow. You know we've got to have Boner and Flowey in our party. Okay. Mm. Okay, well, we're obviously, we're definitely taking Boner. Yeah, he's, he's coming along. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you're right, you're right. We have had Lucky in the party before. Yeah, so, we haven't had and we Flowey. we haven't had Flowey. So, so let's let's go ahead and we'll take Flowey this time. Yes. And we'll see what happens along the way. Oh no, you're going to have to strip their equipment yep. and redo. It's okay, yeah. it won't take too long. Oh boy. Okay, well this is an interesting party composition. It is. Um, oh, you know what you're going to have to do? <laughs> Boner, be careful. That was your name, wasn't it? I know I was just calling you something else a moment ago. <laughs> Write me how you're doing. Hey, cousin. Ah, mm. uh, mm. you just say yes. the same thing, okay. Boner has a very unique appearance. Uh, I leave. I've never seen a boner like that before. Uh, we're okay. in Termina. You know what we have to do, right? Oh, Perfect opportunity. Yeah. We gotta go see the fortune teller again. I love Skelly's running animation, it's by the so way. It's so good. I love it so much. It's very Look good. Look at him go. He's having such a good time. He is He is here to have a, a good time. Oh, who might you... Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's the only person who comes here. Go away, kid. You bother me. I brought you something special this time, fortune teller grandma. All right, fine. Oh my god, your name's really Boner, isn't it? Okay, you've been revived from the edge of despair and must share your light of hope with all. For some reason, you're still black in eight, though, even though that's associated with depression in the game canon. Mm. Do your best, I suppose. You, the vegetable. <laughs> Whether your birth was by God's hand or random chance is unknowable. In either case, treasure your life. Ah, yes. A message for a generation. Ironically, <laughs> we have accidentally stumbled upon the life and death party. Hmm. What are you talking about? They said that Boner was the life of our party. Why are you, why are you calling Flowey a death base character? Why do you think? <laughs> oh, right. Okay. All uh, right, let's rearrange their equipment. Man. And you have some iron, so now's a great time to go to the blacksmith. Oh, yeah, okay. And show that off, too. Real quick. Yeah, first things first, we'll strip Dr. Hojo and Rumble of their good stuff. Yeah, I should have done this before I did all that, but oh well, hindsight yeah. and all that. No, actually, that's true. Yeah, you no. can go through the element uh, menu and, like, take everything from someone, but you, I don't think you can do that with their items. So, uh, not quite. Yeah, so you still have to put them back in the party. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the antitoxinal cap. The only equipment that matters. I guess you get Everybody's going to gonna have that. at least bronze at this point anyway, so... Yeah. We just need to steal their accessories because we have iron. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think so I'm everybody's going to get iron weapons now. Oh nope. Okay. Did yeah. you steal Mel's iron armor? I did. Good. I put it on um, voltage, actually. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah, that's who should have it, probably. Okay, Flowey and Boner, welcome to the party. This is great. I love this. I think these are both glove users. I know that Skelly is a glove user. Actually, Skelly comes with iron mail and an iron glove, so that's Excellent. awesome. I forgot about that. Also, Skelly's magic is actually decent. Um, so we only need to make one iron glove, which is good. That'll save us some iron because then we can use the rest of it for armor. Yep. And armor, of course, is transferable. I mean, the weapons are too, but like 
once you've made an iron glove, if you want that iron back, you have to dismantle the glove. So yeah. if you're not using another glove character to transfer it to, and you want something like an iron staff or a, an iron shot instead, you, you're going to have to break it back yeah, down. Yeah, and I'm definitely want, going to want some weapon and armor upgrades for this next bit. Yeah. But, hey. Oh, we got them. Yeah, we, got, we have enough iron now, so... A zippa. All right. Now we actually have iron this time, so... Please forge us some good weapons. So let's see. We just need a steel swallow, right? Yep. There we go. And we need an iron glove for Flowey. Yep. Lots of glove... Oh, we need leather. Hmm. Uh, what can we break down for some leather? Maybe some of that ivory mail, or... Maybe... Or a bronze glove? Leather. Iron mail. What uh, about the ivory? Scale? No. no. Mm. Do I have any weapons I can break down for leather? Oop, that bronze glove. Yeah, that'll work. So we're making an iron glove anyway, so... Perfect. Cool. Excellent. All right, that takes care of that. Now, we need some iron mail. Now, there's like two versions of every I'm kind of iron. armor. Um, ooh, ooh, I thought we picked up more than that. Nope. Okay, well, that's fine. That's all we um, got. There isn't any more. The vest and the mail. Oh, an amazing material called the rainbow, yes. I think she mentioned that last time. Uh, did she? Hi, maybe? I don't remember if she says it, or if she only says it no, the she, first time she asks, iron. She stuff. asks you about iron, and then maybe when she bring iron is when she tells you about the rainbow. Ah, uh, yes, Karsh is their son, by the way. Yep. Would never have guessed by their accents. Yeah, would never have guessed. So. And that's a hint towards uh, potentially another recruit. Mm-hmm. Okay, well that's fine. So, bronze mail will do for now, or the feathery dress. Mm -hmm. No, it's fine. No, they settled down to become parents, you see. Karsh is an adult. He's responsible for his own choices. Let's see. It's magic her magic is not great. But her hit percent is pretty good. Attack is 22, that's not bad. What are we working with here? Skelly is actually a pretty decent character. Um, I think Skelly's worst quality is that he's a little slow. Succeed, defense 18, magic's 13, which is pretty solid. Evade is 7%. His um, hit percent is abysmal. Yeah, he might need the silver loot. I need two. And yeah, they both do, so. You got one. Well, you already got one on him. Because we have two. Oh, no, you said I'm you going to put two, put on, two him. on him. Oh, that's valid. Yeah, he's slow and not very accurate. Everything else, though, like it's... Oh, not the ivory helmet. What am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> there. Uh, it's pretty much a toss-up, because he has fairly good all-around stats. Yep. All right, let's uh, slam some elements in that grid. And then get on our way. Flow's a fairly standard elemental grid. The auto-allocate, by the way, is not it's, a terrible mechanic. It's really not, honestly. I've used it quite a few times before in my playthroughs, mm -hmm. just randomly, because it takes a lot of time. It's not bad. It, the game's pretty smart about putting elements in the right places and giving you a variety of them. Yeah. It's just sometimes if you want a specific spread, you have to go through and tweak it, but using the auto-allocate, it's not bad, honestly, which is really weird for games like these. Sometimes they're really dumb about what they want you to do. Yeah, the algorithms for mechanics like that are, are usually mm. 
they're just never going to do as good of a job as you can. I just remembered there is one thing that it has a problem of doing, and that is putting really high, but not necess yep, necessarily good elements that you would want in places. So. Well, this is a perfect place for like a bush basher or something because she's green element. It already gave me bush basher, so I'll put an arrow saucer here instead. That'll be fine. Did it do the same thing to Skelly? I don't think so, because I think that's the only one like that that we have, but I'll double check. Yeah, no, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. Alright. Then let's head out. Okay, so let me see. If I remember correctly, the next thing that we were doing was we had, uh, Glenn talked to us, and we have to go find that, uh, other of uh, the fourth deva that left uh, Vipers. In yeah, the war, retired deva. The retired one. So let's save it and let's go hunt for the Hermit's Hideaway. Lord, I'm so glad you said save. Because <laughs> I forgot what was coming up until you said that. Oh, yeah. God, I love this music. It's real good. It's so good. I love this music. I could literally listen to this music all day. It's so I good. really could just play this one track on loop for a very long time. Okay, so actually, we already know where to go, because he told us where to, and it's right here, the Smoking Crater. It's not really called Smoking Crater, it's Hermit's Hideaway. <laughs> Surely everything here is fine. I mean, sure. But I wonder who the uh, fourth Deva, the retired Deva, is. Which I'm guessing is why there was an open slot for Pierre to uh, to take. Well, yeah, because someone retired and then Dario was uh, became a date, but Glenn's older brother, and then, and then Dario died. died. So there's another open slot. Oh, God. Do you want me to take this one? You've played way more Undertale than I have. That's... Mm. Is that the inspiration here? This is Flowey. I'm having trouble finding a voice. <clears throat> Thank uh, obnoxious little girl. What ha what happened here? Did Lynx do this? <laughs> Is that good? Is that anything? <laughs> that's that's fair, I think. Unfortunately, Undertale is not 15 years old yet. <laughs> so, uh that's correct. Hmm. Well, maybe not. The correct answer is, I did this under Monsieur Lynx's order. Hello, Harl. So many clowns in one place. <laughs> oh, and we're associating with all of them. Does that make us the clowns? Probably. Right, we're clowning around all over the damn place. Salut, Voltage. Did you miss moi? <laughs> Excusez-moi, Voltage. But do you want to know why I burned this place to the ground? Uh, kinda. What a silly question. And they actually give you... Not really. <laughs> a, I mean, a you dialogue option. You're a clown. It's fine. I understand. Yeah, like, no, you're a, you're like a jester or something. I just assumed you were going to set something on fire <laughs> nope, at some point. please tell me. <laughs> well, first of all, to teach you all a lesson. And second of all, to get rid of that Giza who lives here. Oh no, she killed an old man. He is an ally of the Acacia Dragoons, and I hear he is quite skilled. Aren't you an ally of the Acacia Dragoons? Oh, that was a lie. <laughs> I was disappointed to see that the Giza isn't here. I wonder where he went. Oh, and one more thing, Voltage. Monsieur Lynx gave moi one more order. That is to slow down your pursuit. Here I go. We get to battle Harl. This is, it, is not do you, fun. Do you, so you, do you pronounce it Harl? I do. I know it's supposed to be Harley. It's Harl, though. On fin. Take all the time you wish. I, um, oh, you didn't equip the steel swallow on him. God. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Whoopsie doodles. Mm -hmm. 
Well, um, this is going to be just slightly more difficult. I I actually used to call her Harl myself, like the first time that I played the game. Bam! Love that spell. Uh, and then um, it was actually oh god, that weird weapon. She got tentacles, y'all. Yes, she hits you with her vines. Oh, you can do her tech, though. Oh, yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Shoot forth a spray of seeds. Oh, my lord. I sprained her. Nice. Good. She'll be slower, then. Big laser. Ow. It's fine. She's fine. Uh, but it was actually Batman the Animated Series that got me calling her Harley instead. Mm-hmm, same. Because of Harley Quinn, of course. You guys want to see another fun tech? Juggler vein. Oh, you special juggling balls to pound your foes. Yes! Our boner is going to use his balls to pound someone. We all knew this was coming. That did surprisingly well. That actually did. You're chewing through her pretty quickly. Ooh, that's kind of hurt a little. God. Very little, apparently. Hot clown on clown action. Oh, God. God. I just aged five years. You can actually steal a really neat accessory from her, but we don't have anyone who can steal, so... Mon dieu. Moi is death it. Is this an act? Are you acting right now? You're probably no. acting oh, right now. Oh, no, it hurts. Oh, no. I don't... I didn't hit you very hard. It's just like Pierre, you know? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's terrible. Why did Flowey not get anything? Oh, well, whatever. Flowey got what she deserves. Oh, hey, yay. we found a photon boom. Yes. Nice. That's the upgrade of Photon Ray, of course. Yep. Ooh, la, la. You really are strong. Tefal, Voltage. Well, that's all they found for today. Au revoir, Voltage. She just vanishes and floats away. Except not really, because I'm pretty sure you can still see her sprite there. <laughs> yeah, like she's still... They don't take her all the way off the screen, so... <laughs> ah, are you one of Lynx's minions? It's me, your favorite character! No! I bet you weren't expecting to see me again. <laughs> Flashbacks. Oh, actually, I see that you weren't. Tutorials. Uh, must have been that munchkin that just flew away. Uh. <laughs> Let me give you a speech about it. No! Miss Riddle had informed me that Lynx and the General were heading to Fort Dragonia. I played it safe and went into hiding for a while. It looks like Lynx did pay me a visit. Please let it stop. <laughs> oh, I'm sure the General has no idea what happened here. Lynx is the one behind all this. I had a feeling something like this might happen. That's why I made sure to build a sturdy stronghold underground. Clever. I believe it should still be intact. Oh, are you here to ask me questions? I'm very good at answering those. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be shy. <sighs> yep, it's Raditz, so... And look, she's still there. Yeah, she's she's literally still here. You can see her bobbing up and down. They make her... Her shadow is even still on the ground. Yeah, and this is... I, I've never seen that not happen, so I'm actually not 100% certain if that is supposed to indicate that she's just turning invisible and is still standing there, like, spying on you, um, or if that is just a problem with the, like, with the game animation where they just no don't idea. all the way, like, they couldn't delete her from the scene the way that they wanted to. Uh, because that happens in other places as well, like uh, when you are in uh, Goldove mm -hmm. and uh, Kid is sick and in bed. Yep. Uh, I think we pointed that out the first time that happens when she's there and you can still see her shadow. Ah, I see. So you've met Miss Riddle and Glenn. I uh, sure have. They seem like nice people, for the most part. Yes, I once wielded a sword as a proud member of the Acacia Dragoons. Glenn's father, Garai, the blacksmith, Zappa, and I used to tear up the battlefield. <laughs> oh, you didn't see that coming? Yes, the blacksmith was a dragoon as well. <laughs> oh, that was a good, oh, 15 years ago, though. What, you don't believe me? 
No. No, 50 years ago. <laughs> 50. Clean your ears out. Now, when Karai lost his life on the central continent, I vowed to become his son's guardian. Which, of course, explains why they lived together in a shack in the backyard of Zappa's house. <laughs> I officially retired four years ago after Dario received his father's sword, the Einlander. I've been here ever since, living a carefree life away from the rest of the world and drawing retirement. <laughs> well, but Lynx had to come and ruin it all, and Dario is no longer with us. Life is so unpredictable, even when you've seen so much of it. It was then that Lynx approached General Viper. He spoke of the legendary treasure, the Frozen Flame, which is able to heal all illnesses and fulfill any dreams, even perverted ones. <laughs> so MacGuffin. Gotcha. Exactly. You catch on quick. I don't know what this man Lynx is plotting, but it probably has something to do with that MacGuffin. I believe General Viper intends to overthrow the nation of Pori with the power of this legendary flame, which honestly, since they're a bunch of capitalist fascists, yeah, pretty is good idea. probably a great idea. Pori is a nation governed by militarism and has brought on suffering to many people on the central continent of Xenon. Perhaps the general envisions a bright and peaceful world, much like Guardia was at one time. Or... Perhaps this is an allegory for American colonialism. God. Who knows? Is he planning to find the answer as to why we have continued to hurt and kill each other since antiquity? In any case, I no longer wish to involve myself in any conflicts. That's why I spent so long philosophizing out loud. Philosophic, philosophy, siphon, philosophy, thinking my way through things. <laughs> Besides, Get your mustache out of your mouth. There's no way I would want to face General Viper in battle. Young one, you should plan to engage in battle with Lynx, but beware. He is a fearsome man. Cat. Also that. I suggest you rest here for the night and leave in the morning. I'm not really equipped for guests. There are many cursed spirits wandering the seas around here. Hence the Isle of the Damned. Yes, it's practically our national export. <laughs> Rumor has it they attack ships and suck the souls out of humans. Like filthy vampires from a YA novel. <laughs> God. Maybe not exactly like that. No, exactly like that. Mm. Boy, they're really gonna love Skelly then. Ah, yes, the good old fade to black in transition. Yep, we spent the night with uh, a living flower and a unliving skeleton. And Skelly's just like hanging out, watching us sleep. I'm sure he in laid a friendly in bed. way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take care of yourself. All right. Well, yep. that's really all you have to say. Yep, that's it. That's all he had to say. There isn't any more. I can't believe it. I can't either. <laughs> Let's see if Harley's still out there. No, I'm pretty sure she's gone. Oh my gosh, they managed to actually get rid of her. Yep. <laughs> oh, yes. And for some reason, the ground just doesn't cool on its own? Yeah. We're going to have to remember that and come back here later. But for now, we leave. Yes, a single patch of ground that mysteriously never cools to room temperature on its own under normal conditions. There's Fort Dragonia, and we have to sail through that horrible patch of fog. Shall we go in? Hmm, I can't think of a reason why we wouldn't sail directly into this horrible patch of fog that makes navigation almost impossible. Well, especially after we were just told about cursed spirits roaming the seas. Sucking out souls and all that. Yeah, I mean, that's not the same as fog. Sure, it's perfectly safe. Everyone knows that fog and ghosts can't be in the same place at the same time. No, they get all mixed up in everything. Yeah, they're too close to the same state of matter. Yeah. So let's go. Oh my god, a ghost ship! Who would ever have thought? I love the oars of this yeah, thing. Yeah, the mechanical by the way. oars are wild.
And they're so polite, not crushing us to death as we come sailing up next to it. Oh, it's totally, yeah. They're like those fancy new hybrid vehicles that have the proximity sensors. Could this be? Ah, the ghost ship. You should be right at home here. No, I'm terrified. Can't you tell? Well, what are we waiting for? I don't know why she pronounces four with a PH, but... I know, it makes me think of, like, phosphorescent mm. or, like, creeping flocks, you know. But it's still ah, you're right. Uh, we won't be able to navigate our boat in this fog. But we can navigate this boat in the fog. <laughs> for some reason, there's a really long, awkward pause there before they all decide to get on the boat. I think it's boat. because they're all looking at each other like, are we really doing this? Uh, so, uh, this is the only spot in the entire game where I'm looking at this textured background and I'm like, was this actually the best that you chose to do? Yeah. This is the only time yeah. where it actually kind of feels <laughs> it's lazy. It's kind of weird. Is this really a ghost ship? No, it's me again. No. No, it's not. <laughs> That's my little joke. I'm actually just the narrator. Hmm. <laughs> That's a lot of pirates. Who are you? Make way for Captain Fargo. Oh, like the TV show? Hey, Fargo. I love that they, like, beat a gong to announce his entry. Well, I mean, if I was a pirate captain, that's how I'd want to be introduced. <laughs> Arg. Avast. Hangy from the yard arm, even. <laughs> Etc. You seem to be a bit young for one of Lynx's subordinates. Well, who cares? What... <laughs> What do you want from us? I don't know how I'm supposed to pronounce that. <laughs> I would just skip it. Either that or pronounce the P aggressively. Pahram. Nope. <laughs> just gonna skip it. Well, that's up to you. <laughs> but first things first. That apostrophe's in the wrong place, <laughs> but we won't linger on it. What's your intention? Me? Eh? Oh, I don't have to play. Yeah, don't play stupid. No, I, we're, we did not come to play. <laughs> this is not rehearsed. <laughs> I promise you. Yeah, we know you're trying to get to Mount Pyre. We saw General Vipers and Lynx's ships anchored nearby. Are you trying to deliver them a message? Is that it? Ragweed. What are you talking about? Man, I slipped up, didn't I? I don't know. I like that better. We're out to get Lynx. We don't work for him. Huh? Hmm. Are you serious? Explain yourselves. We want to stab him real good. <laughs> and that was when everything went terribly wrong for the party. <laughs> I see. So that explains why you're after Lynx. But don't you know you're risking your lives? I mean, sure. Don't you recognize the danger associated with Lynx? Yeah. He's a monster. A cold-blooded monster. An incarnation of death. Is that why he carries the scythe? What incarnation? <laughs> what incarnation? <clears throat> <laughs> to be frank with you. You can be whatever you want, Fargo. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry that threw me. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. We've had our share of encounters with the Lynx, too. But that was a long time ago. Ever since then, we've had to disguise ourselves as this ghost ship. So, you're gonna face Lynx, eh? That's easy to say, but... What are you getting at? Why is Flowey doing all the talking? Ah, oh, God, because they're the second in the party. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, that's actually true. So that's an interesting note for this game. Um, 
everybody gets speaking lines and everybody does have different lines at in during scenes like this where they will be speaking um but whoever is number two in your party configuration actually does a lot more talking than the person in slot three yep and of course everybody does more talking than surge <laughs> ah, bring out our you know what right here on the deck fargo you fiend <laughs> voltage is like we have one of those too and pushes boner forward <laughs> hey, hey captain fargo there he goes Hey, look, an escape route. Let's go. I just want to see if you youngsters can match up to the likes of Lynx. Mm. Just making sure you're not all talk. Looks like they're ready. Let's see what you can do. Bring it. They threw a whistle at me. No, it's just one of those, like, slidey tube toys that you had as a kid <laughs> where, like, the thing goes from one end to the other and makes, a, like, a view. Oh, I threw a whole bunch of Man of Wars at us. Mm, that's rude. They said that they're pretending to be a ghost ship and then immediately throw undead armor at you. Yeah, I know, right? Instead of just real living pirates, which they obviously had. I mean, why would they throw real living crewmen at us when they could just throw this at us? Because, uh, haunted armor is expensive? Not as expensive as funeral rites. To be fair, I mean, since they have haunted armor, I'm assuming that whenever a pirate dies, the funeral rites involve necromancy. <laughs> See, every character's viable. Every character's useful, it's just all about what you want to do with them, how you want to build them. Yeah. Absolutely. So you you can absolutely take your favorite characters all the way through the game and not change with anybody else. Oh, it's for fine. Sure. So, like, te mechanically, technically, um, are there, like, S-tier, A-tier, B-tier characters? Yes. 100% in this game. I still um, haven't we all have seen weapon. We all have seen <laughs> Pierre's performance. Um... Versus, like, Voltage. Um, no one is do, ever going to be better than Voltage. Yeah, he's the protagonist. Uh, but just, like, do not let that stop you. As you play through this game and recruit different characters, 100%, use who you want. <laughs> just loosening you up. Time to get serious. Oh my. Mm. Polly! Come and get this cracker. Oh my god. <laughs> I couldn't resist. That's okay. So yeah, Fargo has a giant, uh, not parrot. This weird dragon parrot thing? I was gonna say dinosaur. Sort of, yeah. It's like a fat pterodactyl, and I love him. Polly's great. Unfortunately, we gotta beat him up. Polly is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> I wish you could get him in the party. He Ow. does hit very hard, though. He does. He's not a joke. A pterodactyl. Oh. Uh, oh. I am. Yeah, I would use Cure because he's red elemental. Yeah. Which I always forget until he does flap. I always remember it because of his head. That's fair. But see, remember, that's what tricks me, is uh, I keep thinking that people are color-coded, and sometimes they are. And sometimes they're really not. And then sometimes they are absolutely not. Yeah. Hit him with an Aqua Ball. Yes, good. Blah, 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 blah. Sploosh. Flower used Bubble. It was super effective. It actually wasn't bad. Come on, boner. Yes. Do we have another good blue attack? Uh, I've got an ice lance. Oh, good. Yes. And he's got flu on too. Excellent. Nice. Excellent. Love Already it when statuses hit them. I like his Love spell his casting dance. animation too. Yeah, his little dance. Oh man, good. If we can hit with a a blue attack now with uh, voltage too. Very what nice. Have I got? Ice, ice lance, lance plus one. Sweet. Do a big hit. Gonna do icicle. even more damage because the field is all blue. Ooh, nice. 
And those field effects really do matter sometimes. God, they do. Because, see, like, it's also going to reduce the damage from flat quite heavily. Which is good, because... Ow. See, look at that. It reduced that damage by, like, 25%. Uh, her only other blue spell is a, a, cure. a cure. On the other hand... She needs it, She does so. need it. I think that that's a really cool mechanic, honestly. The idea of, the, like, using spells of one type floods the area with that energy so that then other spells of that type get more powerful and so on. I already used his Ice Lance. Oh, well. He's got another cure as well, though. You could hit her again. I could... Probably not a bad idea. That'll put that red on the outside, and then we can push it off. I have yet to figure out if the position of the elements in the elemental field grid actually means something Not, not. as far as I know. It's just the amount. So, like, right now we're at blue plus one, because that one blue and that one red cancel each other out. Darn it. So. Well, here we go. We're out of blue. Rocks fall, baby. Everyone dies. Nice. No, no. That's the next meteorite spell. That's true. <laughs> Which is very good, by the way. I love all the white elements. There's still so no good. star. Man, Flowey still isn't getting anything. The game really said fuck Flowey. It really did. Also, don't worry, Polly is not dead. Polly is a friend and he is safe. And presumably also this, talks to you. Yeah, because like this is the same thing, so like Polly is still like, not bad, mateys, we'll meet again. Yeah. Is what he said. Now that's the translation, <laughs> like when he said Gya 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 Are stronger than I expected. Ah, you got me blood boiling. Is that enough innuendo for you? Not nearly, please keep going. Oh, then I'm next. Time for the triple on time. <laughs> God. He did. He decided he needed a piece of that action. It really got his blood going. Ah, <laughs> jolly ho, up and at all. Oh, God. I uh, love We don't even Fargo. have to say anything. Chat's gonna take care of it for us. These jokes write themselves. They do. Ow. They do. He just came over and slapped my ass. I thought that's... I'm sorry. That was what you gave me the impression you wanted. <laughs> Now, this is an interesting series of fights because, of course, Polly is red, Fargo is blue. Yep. So they throw one at you and then the other without a chance for a party change. That means that depending on how you're equipped and who you have in your party, um, this little mini gauntlet of boss fights can actually be really difficult. Yeah, if you haven't been equipped uh, properly, you can get screwed over. Yeah. It is. I got a magma uh, bomb. Blech. That's all you've got. Well, so you might as well do green, yeah. Might as well not worry about it. We don't have a lot of good red elements. Not yet. We're gonna get some of those. Yeah, they'll come. This is this is the point in the game where you start getting the level 3 text, so... And then it's weird, like, see, because he mixes and matches, too, where he hits himself with strengthen, which is a red element. crunchy when he attacks. Yeah, well, it's because he does all those things like his bones spin around and stuff, which is actually, they have a lot of fun with the animations and stuff. It's so good. Uh, and I, I appreciate that. Um, I think that's one of my favorite things about Chrono Cross, is that it's obvious that everyone involved had a lot of fun making the game. Yeah, I feel I, like all of the characters in here have a lot of personality. Yes, they're all very memorable. Um, I, there are no characters... That, there are moments when I, like, will forget exactly how to recruit someone or exactly what order some of the game sequence events go in. Um, but there are no characters that I don't remember. I know all of them by name, and I know something about them. I, I remember why I like or dislike them. And it's hard to be neutral towards any of them. I, I feel like I have some feeling towards all of the characters. 
and, and I in like some that. way or another. Yeah, yeah and I, I like get that. that. Even if it's dislike, yeah, I still appreciate that because I don't want to be neutral towards a character design. Um, I think that good character design is like any other form of art. It should provoke a reaction. And um, so that means that even if I don't like a character, I would rather actively hate them or something about them than to feel nothing. Yeah, because if I feel nothing, then right. you've well, done a bad job making them. Yeah, and that also means then that in times like this, for example, when we are sharing this with an audience... Um, we can still joke about why we dislike them. Yeah. You know, like, it's funny to make fun of how much I hate Pierre. <laughs> um, and also, you know, it's it's fun to talk about how much I like Guile or how much I like Skelly. And I ah, think that that... that did it. Yeah, that's really... That's successful game design. Ah, now that's smarts. Are you done, Fargo? So yeah. yeah, that's that's something that I think uh, that makes me passionate about Chrono Cross. Oh, still no star. Still Fruit. nothing for and Flowey. And nothing for Flowey. Wow. Wow, man, the game wow. really just does not like you. Chrono Flowey. Cross said, "Fuck Flowey." Got another meteorite. For some though. reason, meteorite. Yeah. I don't know why he drops that. You can <laughs> steal a photon beam from him. Not bad. But keep in mind, we be pirates. Oh, that never left my mind. Err? It's the only time Voltage just speaks and out loud. Thud. Voltage pie! God, oh god, oh god, oh It's a tranquilizer made from jellyfish stingers. You lovers will sleep for a while. Why does this affect Skelly? Why does this affect Neo Theo? Yeah. Well, I mean, at least she's organic. Or, well, I mean, he's organic too, but like, at least she's alive. He doesn't even have fluids. Why does that work on him? <laughs> well, that's that. Stick these landlubbers in the hold. Oh, I know what it was. He thought it was funny. Uh, he's a good friend and didn't uh, want Voltage uh, to feel like the odd man out. Oh, that's... no. Me, I am also falling victim to this Ard. tranquilizer. Oh, uh, 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 that's what it, oh, that's what it is because he's a clown. It was a pratfall. Yep. I see. Okay. Thud. I see. We're <laughs> this is the like the meta. Okay. Ah, uh, we having a dream. At least I hope we're having a dream. Everyone has dreams. Ah! That's why they want the frozen flame. <laughs> Are you all right, Voltigi Pie? You don't look so well. I mean, we were hit with tranquilizers. Oh, well, you look like a talking vegetable. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> wait. <laughs> Be on your guard. There's something going on outside. What is going on outside? A pirate hoedown. Huh. Stand and watch ain't easy. It's all the standing that gets to you. And what's up with the fog today? It smells like potpourri. You can't even see the water out there. It's like someone deleted the parallax background. I, I, I'm not scared, though. Surprise. Why does it sound like an actual real ghost ship just appeared behind me? <laughs> oh! Ah, shit then. <laughs> Well, bollocks me, I guess. Just, just bugger me. <laughs> Most unlucky deckhand. Something's up. God, I wish that Hello. Boner immediately had a speaking line right after that. <laughs> Something's up. It's Boner! <laughs> it's me, Boner! Hey, uh, Boner, you didn't tell me your cousins were coming to visit. Wow. What? <laughs> Crossbones. Oh, I forgot they were called that. I love that. The Pirate Skeletons. That's such a good name, too. I only wish there was another enemy called a Skull, so that we could have the Skull and the Crossbones here. A uh, but... man of simple but refined pleasures. Listen. So, we fought a couple of these wraiths before, back in Viper Manor, and they can be pretty nasty. They can be. 
So you are like, not gonna be. Well, but that's they that's can why be. he's he's targeting them first is because we want to take them out. Yeah. Because everything in here is gonna be black and eight, and it will curse the crap out of you. Yes, and curse is one of the worst status effects. What have I got so. there? Recover all. Well, fine. I like that the battle music doesn't change. Eat frisbee. Because I do appreciate when a video game goes out of its way to have um, different combat music for like different areas or different types of battles, mm -hmm. not just like standard combat music and then also a boss theme and then a final boss theme, which is what many games have. And that's kind of what Chrono Cross does, is it just has the big three. Um, but there is also a charm to that as well in its way, because battles like this seem so much sillier when they have that upbeat kind of do -do 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 you know, and you're fighting ghosts on a pirate ship. Can I God, please you put his weapon not, on yeah. now? That's Game. okay. You should, you'll get a chance now, finally. Game, can I take control again, please? Still no star. Nothing. Wow. Wow, can Man. we get can we get F's in chat for Flowey? Jesus. Oh, we got some leather though. Good. We'll need that. Thank goodness. Huh. What are these monsters doing here? Oh, what's going on? He says as he turns his head around 360 Look degrees. Look at that. Yes, that animation. I love it. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Now, finally. Finally. Yeah, that's exactly. Flowey is it's what she deserves. There we go. That oh will make things goodness. a little easier. <laughs> Gracious. Phew. Oh, before I do anything else, though. Oh, yeah. Because we did get that photon beam. <laughs> Put that. Ah, oh, there we go. It's over now. It is over for you, ghost hose. So, Voltage really shines in this level. I mean, he's just always the best character anyway, really. Um, which is the case with a lot of JRPG protags. But, but um, I mean, here, he's ultra powerful and a white knight, and literally everything, everything here is black and a. Well, almost everything. Yeah. A note key duty is a big responsibility. Yep, we gotta find a key. Uh. It looks like you're all right. Yeah, I thought you were goners when that monster went in. It looks like he did a job fighting it, too. Ragweed. We're tougher than you think. But seriously, please explain what is happening. Uh, sorry, but I don't know either. Before I knew what was going on, I was attacked. Go ahead. I won't stop you. Doesn't look like you could. Yeah, it's like you... you Bold of you to Let's assume see. you could. Now, is he one of the ones I have to talk to three times? You want to know who's in charge of the key? Yes. I don't know. Darn. Darn. Okay. I guess I should save this guy. Sure. I mean, here's my philosophy. Meh. When you meet pirates, in general, now keep in mind, this is broadly speaking. Ugh. I love that enemy design. Um, Those are dead beats. Dead beats, yep. Uh, but when you meet pirates, just, just again, very broadly speaking, um, you want to be their friend. Oh, absolutely. You want to be their friend. So Please like, be my friend instead of my enemy pirates. So if you come across some pirates uh, that are being attacked by the undead, which, as, <laughs> as we know, often happens. It's just, you know, it's a professional hazard if you're in pirating. Yeah. I, if you're in piracy, um, if you go a pirate, you know, help him out. Give a brother a hand. Yeah. Right? Why not? That was a very good photon beam. Yes, thank you. Those things remind me a little bit of No Face from Spirited Away. Really? Just a tiny bit in the fact that they have the weird gushy black body with like the skull mask kind of on top of it, like it's not really part of the creature. And then the way that they move. Oh my god, we got two iron. Ooh, from two that. iron. Very Thank nice. You. Excellent. 
They didn't ask for your help. Well, too bad. You got it anyway. But yeah, and the fact that they look kind of like a little oily, sort of. <laughs> How'd you guys get out? Get back in the hole. This sucker's mine. Fine, you take care of that. Hey, an aqua ball. Uh, I don't think I need that right now. But I am gonna fight this monster. Because they drop iron, as we've seen, and I want that. Yeah. That's the real thing. You're not really helping the pirates. Nope. You're out pirating them because you want this, this booty for yourself. I want loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Give it to me now. Oh my god, that animation's so weird. I hate these things. Yeah, They're so creepy. It's great. But I am just going to take one completely off the board. Very nice. Boom. Meha Meha. And he's dead. God, I love getting those ticks. <laughs> hey, Flowey, you want to hit? Thank you. If I remember correctly, um, one of the first really good um, red elements that's like an upgrade from Fireball is here, and also our first multi hit black element you find on the ghost ship. I believe you're right. If I remember correctly, it's been an age. I remember the, the characters pretty good and some of the treasure, but not everything. There's a lot to memorize. Yeah, there really is. Hey, and I am the last person to ever get on to somebody for, like, forgetting small details <laughs> about a game. Especially after, like, we played Final Fantasy VII, which is a game I legit have played, like, 20 times. <laughs> and I'm still like, I think it's over here? No, maybe it's over there. Oh, no, shit, wait, you have to do this other thing first. Wait, it's behind oh, yeah. plot. Oh, so. yeah, you can't even go there yet. My bad. Like, you know. <laughs> it's okay. It was still fun. Oh, yeah, there's no doubting that. I had a blast playing that with you. Yeah. And if you haven't seen that, uh, definitely go check that out on our YouTube channel. Oh god, yeah, please and do. And you can find all the rest of this series over here as well. In case you missed any of the previous episodes there, all of our playthroughs are on our YouTube channel, uh, which is linked here on Twitch. And of course, if you are already watching on YouTube, thank you, and don't forget to uh, follow and hit that bell icon to subscribe to notifications so you'll be notified whenever we upload a new video which usually happens three times a week usually and then you can jump over to twitch and join us live monday thursday and saturday at 7 p.m eastern standard time god i love the animation for that spell it's, it's just oh, it just good. feels so chunky and it powerful does, yeah, i it, love yeah, it yeah it feels strong like Photon Ray also feels good, but Photon Beam, like... It's just more good. What, yeah, yeah. Like, no, it it feels like it really is just a straight upgrade, if that makes any sense. Oh, no, it, it I It has get what the same saying. positive reaction from me as Photon Ray, but bigger. Yeah. Um, which is something else great about Chrono Cross. I think the spell designs, um, especially for the PSX era, mm -hmm. um, are top-notch. Agreed. They they really did well with what the hardware offered. Locked. Yeah, I gotta get that damn key. I always forget about that guy, and I run straight into him every time because my first thought is, Ooh, treasure! Yep. There's several doors here where, like, as you approach them, the monster kind of phases out of them almost like they're coming out through the door or something well it's we're being haunted at the moment yeah i love the design of the steel swallow it's really good yeah that's that is one of my favorite models that he has it's not my favorite but it's no. a good one no it's yeah it's it's wow, one of my lived? favorites wow congrats to that guy he's not gonna live much longer but well he must have had like two hit points left oh yeah he did he did not have much. Oh my god. Wow, Flowey, way to let everybody down. That's Flowey, always letting everybody down. What are you talking about? Flowey's your best friend. Mm, your best friend can let you down. <laughs> They're not immune to that. 
No, but I do have higher expectations, uh, which is something that I don't have for Flowey. And that's why we aren't best friends. I can't believe that Flowey's hit percentage is so much higher than, uh, than Boner's. And he's consistently hitting and doing a lot more damage. That's just RNG Jesus. I'm pretty sure. Like, I know that he's stronger than she Ooh. is. Ooh. Oh, good. One of those mini levels. Yay. And she finally got something. My goodness. I'm glad they're dropping all this leather, too, because you We're need, gonna need leather it. to make a lot of the iron items. There we go, a fire pillar. Yes! I'm going to put that on immediately. So the reason that red um, is kind of like touch and go uh, in the early game, especially, is because you have fireball, which is a good solid hitting first level element. But then the second one is immediately magma bomb. Um, and so you don't have another good single target hit until you get Fire Pillar, which is third level. Oh, and we also picked up a Magma Burst, which is oh, the upgrade of Magma we Bomb. Did. Yeah, that is a fourth level hits everybody. There element. we go. I'm going to put this Aqua Ball on here, too, and please these capsules. There. Very nice. <laughs> and we're about to get a uh, a good element for Locked again. for uh, boner here too. Okay. I'm trying to remember to call them by the names that chat has I keep, given them. I keep forgetting. And I, I'm, it's not that I'm forgetting; it's that some part of me is resistant to just saying boner all the time <laughs> because I know that's why y'all did that. Yeah. So you would have to listen to us just constantly say boner on the stream. It's going to lose all meaning. It's going yeah, to be semantic satiation. Uh, the word boner is going to have no no power over any of us by the time we get to the end of this Let's Play. Please die. On the other hand, we'll be free. <laughs> finally. Darn. Man, blast it again. Ah, shoot. You got sword dance off. Ow. Yeah, those guys are not super strong, uh, but it, they they do have a big hit. Yeah, that's why you want to take them out pretty quick. I still focus on the wraiths first because the wraiths have um, hell soul. Oh yeah, and that that's the thing. It's not that they hit a lot harder than they the just crossbones. Have an instant it's death. that they do have an instant kill attack. Leather and iron. Nice. nice. They know what we want. To see, that's all, that's all the that uh, the blacksmiths needed to do. Just come just, over here and raid a pirate ship. Yeah, they ship. just need to come over here and, and, and raid a ghost ship. Hey, you okay, guy? Uh, uh, it, it got me. It's right there waiting. Damn it all. Ah, I knew it's it. Fine. It's fine. It's okay. all right. It's okay, my guy. I got jumped, too. It's okay, though. I will avenge you. Ooh, yeah, but you knew you were going to get jumped, so you can react to it. Can I take you out in one hit? I think you have less hit points than skeletons. Hmm, we're about to find out. Gosh, that's so good. Ooh, you have more yeah, hit no, points. Yeah, they, no, they're tougher. Hmm. Hmm. On the other hand, if you do a pop, pop, pop right now, before they get a turn, that'll probably... I was hoping I'd be able to. Man, Flowey, it's so good that you have a hit-all. Yeah, I do appreciate that her first tech is, uh, is a multi-hit. It's real nice. That is one of her redeeming qualities. I'm not a huge fan of Neo Theo as a character, um, but that is... Ooh, you guys want to see Fire Pillar? Oh, you know it. You know it. Oh, and you fatigued them, which is one of the white status effects. There you we go. Literally just light a fire under them. Just burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Skelly's so he's so good. Guys, I didn't want to say anything, but I really like Skelly a lot. <laughs> I didn't want to sway your opinion of him, but I really love Skelly. People on this pirate ship dropping an awful lot of leather. Ah, Panacea. So this is the first time we actually get to see the black healing item. Isn't crazy? That's white. Or, oh, no, that it's is. It's the white consumable. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're right. Panacea is white. You got everybody so, <laughs> so excited. No, Nostrum is the black one, isn't it? Uh, yes. yes. Nostrum. Okay. 
So yes, uh, the panacea removes all status effects. It um, it's not a bad it's consumable not bad. to have. I don't know if I want it right now though. I think we're good at the moment because it has to go in this slot. Yeah, because yeah, because it's it's a fourth level plus minus zero is the thing. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it is really good because it saves you a lot of slots in that you don't have to carry a capsule and medicine and uh, tablets and, 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 and in order and, to cure all of those and, yeah. different status effects. Yeah, if you just have a whole bunch of panaceas, mm -hmm. you good. The downside is it takes up a fourth level slot and you, you can't use a lower or higher level one for any of the consumables. They are one, two, three, whatever, you know, plus yep. minus zero. They can yep. only go in that level on your elemental grid. Yep. One downside. And that is rough, so. Man, I can't wait until we get the white hit all ability. It's so good. It really is. I'm I mean, uh I'm not gonna lie that I mean as a tabletop role player, especially, video games have had a huge influence on how I see like magic and stuff. Uh -huh. Um, you know, just kind of mentally in general. Yeah. Um, but Chrono Cross had such really good spell designs and animations for the time um, that it was very formative for me in that sense. And to this day, I still think of uh, a lot of these spell animations when I am thinking of magic in general and what it can do in other contexts. That's fair, honestly. Like, I think I think of the same thing. Yeah, you know, like when I think of Scorching Ray in Dungeons and Dragons or something, um, I I tend to think of something not quite like a magma bomb, but but close but to that. You similar. Know? Yeah, like multiple arcing rays of fire that kind of curve around and hit somebody. Yeah, and I mean, um, if you're gonna have spells go off, why not make them really cool? Right. Well, because it's part of good game design that um, whenever you give someone the option to have any kind of Aww. ability, it should feel good to use it. Oh, yeah. You should be glad you made that choice. I should want to cast that spell over and over and over yeah, again. Yeah, exactly, and I do in Chrono Cross. That's something that I enjoy, is I, I don't really get tired of seeing most of the special abilities go off. I get tired of seeing the enemies get them off on me. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. But, I mean, even then, that's more like, you know, you're not allowed to hit me. I'm only allowed to hit you. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but, like, it, it always feels good to cast, um, you know, Ice Lance. It always feels good to cast feels good to Arrow cast Saucer. Fireball. Yeah, it even feels good to cast Fireball, even though that's a first level spell. Even Uplift. Mm -hmm. I, I have to say, my favorite first level spell probably actually probably first. is Uplift. I, I think I agree. I like all it's of very them, but chunky. I think it's. Yeah. And I like the way that it just takes a block out of. And explode. Um, out of any floor that you're standing on. I always felt like that one needed to be Fire Pillar. I get that, yeah. I get that. But I understand why they didn't do it, but I feel like that just needs to be... No. Ah, darn it. Wow. Sensitivity up, so... Whoops. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Thanks for the help. Uh, who are you? Oh, you're the landlubbers we threw in the hole, but how did... I guess it doesn't matter now. Where do you plan to go? I guess if you're not gonna... A key? I have no idea who has it. Oy. Are you sure? Are you sure, buddy? That is also locked. Good. They're all locked. Gracious. So, yeah, the way we get around here is you have to go back, of course, into the room where you got the aqua ball. Oh, right, 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 right. And, um... It is there this is this one, isn't it? Yep. And there's a connecting passage. It's up here... Aha! Yes. Yep. You have to climb through the air ducts. There's going to be another wraith over there, isn't there? I'm not going to tell. Ah. <laughs> it's because you know the answer. <laughs> Do you have to guard every treasure chest? You, All of you them? You gotta. On the other hand... You're dead. What are you going to use it for? Well, it's not about what they're going to use it for. It's that you're not allowed to have it. That's what really matters. 
I'll show them. It's the negative reinforcement. It's it's not about what they're going to do with it. It's what they can't let you do with it. Please. Yeah, there you go. Probably won't kill the Wraith. No, but that'll definitely get the crossbones. I love that, like, she, it sits her on her ass just to kind of, like, shake herself out of it. Like, ah. Every time the wraiths get a turn, I tense up, like, my whole body because I'm like, oh, here Please comes. don't instant kill me. Yeah, they're gonna do Hell Soul, probably on Voltage. And that'll be it. I'll just die. This is probably overkill, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Just because I like the animation. <laughs> Hey, what were we just talking about? No harm done there. I like the pyroclastic lightning that just arcs all over the yes. place before it goes off. So good. Although then the weird sort of, like, like, curved cylinder that it comes up in. I like this it's supposed to be like a mushroom cloud sort of thing. It's just odd looking. Give me that. A capsule. Aww, I didn't want that. Yeah, that's not the good... That's not the good treasure. It's okay. There's more good treasure to be had. It is, yes. There there, there will be more. Mm. Mm, and we are about to get the key. Which is... Uh, yeah, there you go. The key, of course, will open up this dungeon a lot more. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, who would have predicted? This is a fun level. I like that, um... Tell me if you agree. Mm -hmm. And of course, chat, you're allowed your opinions as well. Oh. You know, it, it is, actually. Um, and still today. Hmm. I don't think I would say that's the only one that was done well, in my opinion. Hello, D. But I'm assuming you mean Legend of Dragoon, right? Correct me if I'm wrong before I go on. Because I do have an opinion about that. Okay. So I, I would, for me at least, it's not the only one that was done well. But the ghost ship in Legend of Dragoon is probably close to my favorite, if not my favorite, from what you're talking about, like, ghost ships in PSX-era JRPGs, um, because Legend of Dragoon is, first of all, it's a game that deserves, um, a remake. Since we're out here, um, hello, Sony. Sony. Um, <laughs> if you're watching. Uh, this is relevant because we are, in fact, playing a Squaresoft game, and Squaresoft is currently in the process of remaking or remastering all of their classic RPGs. Um, which is honestly more than we deserve. <laughs> okay? We so, have opinions. So, um, if there is an RPG out there from the PlayStation 1 era that deserves an HD remaster... It's this one. It is Legend of Dragoon. Oh, I have to say Chrono um, Cross. Chrono okay. Cross is on the list, but I think <laughs> like we have to assume that's on the table because they're doing Legend of Mana and Saga Frontier, and and they've teased that they're like absolutely, probably, maybe, but maybe not. Wink, wink. Doing Parasite Eve, you know. So, um, uh, so Chrono Cross might be on there. Who knows? But Legend of Dragoon definitely deserves one, and uh, moreover. While I would say that it did wrap up its story at a relatively satisfactory point and in a relatively satisfactory manner, there is also 1,000% room for a sequel. So, like, if I'm not going to get an HD remaster of Legend of Dragoon, I definitely I want, deserve, and have earned a Legend of Dragoon 2. And that's that on that, period. So, you, you good. Um, all that to say, Legend of Dragoon. <laughs> um, one of the reasons why I feel that strongly about it is because <laughs> yes, please tell us. Well, it, it, I, and I know that y you have dabbled in Legend of Dragoon a little bit, mm, but you have yeah. not really played Legend of Dragoon. No. Like, yeah. So, uh, which is a game that we absolutely must do on the channel at some point, whether I do it or whether we do it together. Um, 
But, um... What's this got to do with the ghost ship? Ooh. Well. Interesting. I will have my eye on that, then. I definitely will. Uh, but no, no, no. But you're right. What this has to do with the ghost ship is since chat brought it up. Legend of Dragoon does a lot of really creative and unique things with otherwise very tropey ideas. Okay. Um, and they have a lot of, I think, memorable interpretations of it, and the ghost ship is one of those. Here we go. Monsters all over the deck. This is the guy with the key. What? A key? Hey, mateys, who's on key duty? Oh, hey. Give me the key. You want the key for the door downstairs, eh? Here. I don't care. It's not even a key item, it's just key. I'm not even on duty. Yeah, there's a couple ways to actually get all the way around. Yep. We actually do want to go through the arsenal, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, we want to go back to all those doors that were locked. <laughs> so what was so great about the ghost ship in Legend of uh, Dragoon? Well, I don't want to spoil you. Um, oh, I guess so, we are going to play it then. So I, I will just say uh, I, I really liked both what they decided ghost ship means in that game and in that world. And also... Um, okay. Yeah, because it, it won't open every single door, I don't think. It mostly just opens the one main door. I did say that it opens it up a lot. That made it sound like it opens all of them. Um, but I, I like their idea of the ghost yeah. ship, uh, and I like the environment of the ghost ship. Uh, and I... I like the execution of that level. You know what I would like to and see? And the art and stuff is beautiful there, just like it is in Chrono Cross and stuff too, so I, I like the way it looks. What would you like to see? I would put, if I were designing a game, and I wanted to put the ghost ship trope on its head, I would put the ghost ship in like a desert. Ooh, that's a neat idea. Have it be like, like one it of was, those... Like it was a sunken ship that doesn't have an ocean anymore. Ooh, yeah, like, like one of those where you see the shipwreck like just sitting out on the sand and the implication is that this used to be the bottom of the sea. Yeah. Ooh, that's a neat idea. And then fill it with like a lot of like ghost uh, fish enemies and things like that. Yeah, which like would a, be... Like a lot of water-based enemies you wouldn't think to fight in the desert. Yeah, which would be really like out of place, the juxtaposition of that. That's really creative. I like that. Thank you. So there you go. That's that's for your next D&D &D campaign. You can have that's, that one for free, guys. Yeah, no charge. <laughs> Tuck that in your back pocket. The last I've, thing you expect to find in the desert is a boat. I appreciate how Aqua Ball reflects the the textures the of the battlefield. Yeah. yeah, it's the little things, especially in a PSX game, because there are a lot of little things. Anyway, into the arsenal. Excellent. Yeah, that little guy just runs right at you, so... You can... You can dodge him. You can dodge him, but there's no point. There's no point. And I, and I want the iron and that he's going to drop anyway. Yeah, that's the main thing, is you're here for the treasure, so... Because, of course, you have actually... You, you spent quite a bit of time us uh, rather skillfully dodging many of the fights we've encountered up to this point. Um, so, some people who watch this and have watched previous episodes might be questioning, well, like, why are you running face-first into all of these fights, then... And that's that's the answer. That's the answer. I want the iron. Is the iron, and then also the leather. And the leather. Because yes. you do you need a lot of leather to make some of the good iron items, especially the armor. Yeah. But y'all also saw back at the blacksmith in the beginning of this stream um, that you needed a leather to make the steel swallow. Mm-hmm. And um, or was it the steel glove? Glove. Yeah, it was the steel glove, and we had to dismantle a bronze glove to make the steel glove. Mm-hmm. So. And like I said before, um, you have to make all of your uh, weapons and equipment in this game. There's not a shop that just sells them. Yeah, and there's only a, f a handful of items that you find or receive as treasure. Yeah. From, like, quests and things, like Razley's Wand. That's a very unique case. Yep. Uh, nice. Pierre's, Pierre's special equipment mm -hmm. is also a unique case. Yep. 
And there's a few others, like for example, um, if you choose Guile at the beginning um, instead of Pierre or Nikki, then one of his. Um, oh, <laughs> in the name of Davy Jones, Davy I can't Jones believe confirmed. you made it here. Davy Jones confirmed. That's quite impressive, mateys. Would you like some of my homemade vitamin drink? Sure. Oh, drink up. Voltage was poisoned. Uh, well, it's still in the testing phase. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I just thought it was fun. So. But, um, yeah, that's why we bought antidotes, right? Yeah. It's fine. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you, if you choose yeah, Guile at the beginning to sneak into Viper Manor, uh, and then you get the Dragoon's Honor and come back and show that to the fortune teller that is his his route for that dungeon, uh, then as a reward, she actually gives him a brass rod. Yep, because they that's their whole thing. Uh, the reason why he wants to go into the manor anyways is he had a bet with her that he could do it. Yep. And he's supposed to bring that back to prove that he did. Yep. So... And in, as a reward, she gives him the rod. Yeah. Which presumably she just had anyway. Mm -hmm. so. Which is an upgrade from what he starts with because he does come with the porcelain rod or the ivory rod, rod or, or whatever, rod, whatever, whatever it it's is. called. But yeah, the basic level rod. Um, the only thing is, it, if you recruit him, you can just go straight to the blacksmith and make a brass rod. Yeah, it's real weird. So, like, if you don't do that, then you get one for free, but if you do do it, like, you probably, when you go into Viper Manor, you've got a brass rod anyway, so it's kind of strange. If she gave you an iron rod or a steel rod, oh my God. that would be a big deal. That early in the game? Oh yeah, that would be a big deal. And he would, actually, honestly, it would make sense because mages need better physical weapons. Like, they're, it's more important for them, almost, than it is for... Uh, regular warrior characters because warriors having better physical stats are going to do more physical damage overall anyway, even with a shittier weapon. Yeah. Whereas a mage needs a good weapon to make up for their lack of good physical stats. Yeah. Uh, so... If nothing else, it'll increase their hit percentage. Right. And so I feel like a steel uh. rod would actually have made more sense. And why it's a brass rod, I don't know. Mm. I'm sure there's some balancing factor going on there. But Maybe. Nah, it know. might be because it's Guile specifically, and he is your first rod user, and he is unusually powerful for rod users out of all... Like, he's, I'm pretty sure he's the strongest rod user in the game. Not, not just in terms of being an S-tier character, but I, mm. I think he is physically, like, in terms of his weapon damage and stuff, he's the best rod user. I actually do not know the statistics on that one. I would be interested to find out. I'm, I I'm, might even go research it after this. I'm, like, 99% sure that's the case. How am I going to uh, have so much iron when we're done here? Good. Oh, my God, another one. But so that might be the balancing factor there. Either way, um, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I still think it's kind of silly that you can just go literally up the street after you get Guile <laughs> and upgrade his weapon. Um, and then she gives you his second level weapon for free when you come back out. It's it's kind of strange. Yeah, it's real weird. But all, all of that was merely to express that um, that is one of the few instances where the game does actually give you a weapon versus you having to make one. Yeah. Because you find armor and accessories all over the place. Well, you find accessories. Accessories. Yeah, that's, that's fair. And I was thinking helmets and stuff. Um, armor is still more common than weapons, though, because, like, there aren't any monsters that you can steal weapons from or that drop weapons from in general. It's really rare. It's very rare. I so, can't even think of any off the top of my head, yeah, honestly. So only a few times uh, in the game do you actually encounter that, where you don't have to use the blacksmith mechanic to forge a weapon. These little things are all over the place. I, I would say avoid some of them, considering the iron and leather that we've got at this well, point, except that they they go down so quickly. Yeah, and also I kind of do specifically want to get all the ones out of this room. Yeah, for here, there's, there's a reason why. And you will see momentarily. Goodbye. This is an important room in this dungeon for several reasons. Get him, Flowey. There Good are, job. There are a couple of treasures in here.
one of which is one that I've been kind of like bouncing up and down waiting for. You get uh, real excited about certain things. And I do. I, I like it. Come here, you. Because there is like, there's a crummy capsule in here, but there's also a good spell. And it's the first time I think that you encounter a said spell. I think I'm that's pretty correct. sure. It, there, if it's the one, I think it is. There are. There's almost always an enemy, I think. And you know a little bit more about the drops than I do, so you can correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. But I, I think that there's almost always an enemy um, in any given section of the game that at least has a... They will drop an element or a piece of equipment or something um, as a rare drop or as a steal using, like, Kid or Mel's abilities um, a little bit before the game just starts giving you that thing. So, like, for example, the Photon Beam spell, um, there are enemies who will drop Photon Beam, and there are treasure chests where you can get Photon Beam, or, or um, bosses, rather, where you can steal Photon Beam before you find your first treasure chest that just gives you a Photon Beam. I... As an example. Mm, off the top of my head, and from what I can remember of the ones that I'm thinking of, that is correct. And so that means, presumably... Normally. Um, that maybe. there, you could maybe have gotten the element that we're coming up on before now um, as a rare drop or a steal, but I don't know who it would have been off of, off the top of my head. I can't either. That maybe? is, mm. that is just too much information. If it's, if it's the one I'm thinking of, maybe not. Man, I don't remember. I'm gonna have to, like really dig into the research on that one. Yeah, I don't... My brain is packed full of useless, like, <laughs> garbage files that need defragmenting. I'm like that that one, um... Uh, that, that one comic, like, As Per Usual by Dami Lee, uh, where it's like she's trying to remember something her friend says, and it's just her brain with, like, the, uh... You only have 12 megabytes of storage <laughs> remaining. You must Would delete you something. Delete something. To, yeah, like flashing God. over her brain. That is, that's me 1,000% nope. of the time. Please beat up the weekend. Thank you. It's like, oh, you'd like to acquire this new skill? Well, you're going to have to forget how to do math. Like you're a Pokemon when you learn a new mood. Yeah, I can only know four techniques. So... Man, I love that. It's really nice. It's very good. I would love it more if it had killed that. Yeah. Rage, but... It's okay. We got this. See? It's fine. Everything's fine. Why are you worrying? <laughs> it's in the past. Why are you living in the past? Okay, so now that that's over... They're dropping so much money. I love it. So, we have a new friend. Yeah. Oh, we have an old uh, friend. Y'all remember Pip? from uh, Dr. Hojo's laboratory. If you don't, here's a reminder. That's them. Come. Ah, oh, lordy. Pip, of course, is scared and runs away thinking that you are a ghost when you try to talk to them. I mean, that's fair. I think, well, in this situation, that is exceptionally valid. Stowed away on a pirate ship, of all things. And then suddenly ghosts. Yeah, that's fair. Man, uh, Photon Beam and Meteorite are so good on this pirate ship because everything is black element, but, like, my kingdom for Meteor Shower? Oh my god, I want Meteor Shower so bad. At least she's got Pop Pop Pop. Yeah, I'll, I'll take what I can get at this point, and at this and point that, it's that Pop that is pop, in pop. fact what you can get. <laughs> On the other hand, I'm kind of glad that y'all chose Flowey to come with us because she has made uh, several of these battles easier. Yeah, that's true. Mostly thanks to that move. Specifically, so. 
The Wraith's designs are so weird and creepy. They're supposed to be. It's odd. Right? Yeah, no, they really do work well together. And one of the reasons why is because, of course, Boner is black element, so he and Voltage don't play nice with each other. Flowey being green elemental means that most of what she does doesn't put anything on the field that weakens either of them. True. So that's one of the considerations that you have to take into, um, or that you, that you have to make. Uh, when you are doing party composition is, like, if you have opposite element characters, they're not going to play well with each other. They're going to actually inhibit one another's functions. Uh, so having someone like uh, Boner in the party actually can kind of make voltage worse and I'm vice versa. Black on the field, so. Right, and so that's why they, they give you the six different colors, is so that you can have people of three different color combinations in your party. So, like, Voltage is always white element, so then if you have either a blue or red character in your second slot, and your third slot is either a green or a yellow character, and that way everybody has a separate weakness, so very rarely do you have your, your green character is not putting a bunch of black elements on the field that are making voltage worse. Usually. Your blue character is not putting a bunch of, uh, like, blue elements on the field that is going to make your yellow character worse and so on, because those are, they don't directly inhibit each other. So having a green and black character, those two play well. And then, of course, voltage is powerful enough to make up for it. But part of it, too, I think, is that... For the most part, Flowey's been using a lot of green, and being green and eight green elements are stronger for her, and putting them on the field, changing the field effect, makes them yet again stronger. Yeah, the only problem we've but been having with this particular Boner level... is not using a lot of black elements. Yeah, and unfortunately, this particular level, usually the field starts you with one white and two yellow, so... Yeah. Which is weird, but... There's the capsule, and then of course... Hip went over here... And... There's the thing we really came for. Graviton. graviton. Is it Graviton or Gravitoon? It's Graviton, yeah. Or Graviton, if you want. Uh, but in either way, however you pronounce it, it is a black element attack that hits everybody. Yep. Mm. Which... Mm. There you go. Put that in place of Electro Jolt? Yes. That makes sense. That's good. That is a good decision that I will not regret. You done running around? Why do I always get these characters? Uh, what? Oh. Did I do Pip last? No, I did Pip last. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to figure out why I always get these characters. <laughs> I feel like I only have one voice. Because you're the cute one. Aww. Why do you keep approaching me? Can't you see I'm hiding? Hmm? You want to know why I'm here? I told you I wanted to go on a cruise. <laughs> I'm a stowaway. I wanted desperately to see the sea. When I woke up, there were monsters all over the place. It really scared me. Anyway, I want to see the world because all my life I've been walked up in a web. Can you broaden my view of the world? Please? What do you say? Should we, should we broaden his view of the world? Sure. Come right along. We need a mascot. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, Pip is absolutely the Uwu character. Pip joins your party. Uwu. I feel like Pip is one of the few characters who doesn't get a specific thing when it comes up and says that they joined your party. And Pip's thing ought to be like the emote where it's like the pleading eyes and the two fingers touching <laughs> in the Uwu pose. <laughs> oh my god, there you go. You already... That's the name. Yeah, shit... I like mascot. I do like mascot. Uwu is also funny. Mm. Because they are the Uwu character. I'm really tempted to go with mascot, though. I like mascot. I like both of those. Which do y'all prefer? We, ha we have a tie, so... Oh, well. Mascot, Mascot okay. it is, then. Very much the mascot. Um... So Pip has a unique mechanic. Um, Pip can evolve into different um, 
forms. forms. Pip is absolutely a Pokemon. Pip is absolutely a Pokemon. Pip evolves into different forms based on their elemental usage and the elemental energies to which they have been exposed over the course of many battles. So if you put Pip in the party, then over time, Pip will evolve into a second neutral form and then eventually into either an angel or a demon form at the final stage. Pip is absolutely an Eevee. Pip is in fact an Eevee. And it becomes basically either an Espeon or an Umbreon, depending on what you do. Uh, they also start as a white innate. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's the first uh, white innate character you get, I think, who is not Voltage. Mm-hmm. I, th- I think. Mm-hmm. Slightly incorrect. Mm-hmm. If you go to the, the Leave Kid route, you can get Doc, who is white oh, innate. Oh, that's true. That's right. He's Doc technically is the first. Yep. Technically, you can get him, but you have to leave Kid to die. Yep. So, if you don't, if you save girl like we did, then Pip is your first. All right, so you can decide next time uh, if you would like for Pip to join our party, but for now, they're going to stay here. Yep. We're going to finish this dungeon with uh, who we have. Oh, thank goodness. And there we go, a photon beam for your trouble. I want that. You Give definitely it to do. me. Am I the only one who sometimes wants to go to equip in order to put photon beam like you are not like the to, only to put person. elements on something? No, absolutely not. Okay, I I'm promise glad. you, you are not alone in that. I'm so glad. Ah, yes, and here we can save. We're gonna want to also. Mm-hmm. Sa save. Hello, yes, I would like to save. <laughs> Oh, there we go. You did, yeah, you did, weren't standing Apparently on I the sound out of effect. It. You must stand directly on the chime. All right, so we're going to conclude this stream uh, with a boss fight. Yep. God, I thought for a second you were going to say we're concluding it right here, and I was okay. like, please, no. <laughs> no, that's too much of a cliffhanger. This is a silly place to end a stream. Uh, we will conclude with a boss fight that will finally get us a damn star. I just in time, mateys. Look out! I don't know what jumped at us, but apparently it did, so we're in a fight now. Oh, you don't know what jumped at us? It's ghost pirates. No, it's actually, uh, this thing. This thing, yeah, the Zitsi fly. I hate this thing so much. It has such a weird design. It's, it's so very gross. uncomfortable. I hate it. It's, That's really nasty. Yeah, it, I'm gonna take it out. It's very Lovecraftian. Um, like, since it's black elemental, I presume that it's intrinsically less racist than Lovecraft. But, mm. uh, but it looks very much like a, uh, like a oh, flying polyp called? or like a star spawn or something. Yeah. My knowledge of Lovecraft monsters is uh, not great. Is Cthulhu big? Yeah. <laughs> him, 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 him big squid. Boy. Him big boy with squid on face. Large wet friend. <laughs> oh, Cthulhu? He crazy. Yeah. He, oh, man. <laughs> he knows how to party. Or maybe he's more like a shitty ex. Like, no, you don't, don't talk to him. He'll get in your head. <laughs> He'll drive you crazy. <laughs> You'll never be the same after encountering him. Oh, my God. Hey, 69. Nice. Nice. Come on. Ah. Oh, that was a good... Oh, you switched to dynamic camera. Thank I did. Thank goodness. Please leave dynamic camera on. It's so good. I thought I had it switched over before, but apparently at you... some point it switched back. Yeah, I think you might have... It, it either reset or... Um, or you just bumped it with your finger or something, because mm. that's easy to do. So yeah, they make you fight this battle, um, and then immediately throw you into a boss fight. Thankfully, we just found a stack of capsules downstairs, mm -hmm. so we don't have to use our elemental grids. There are too many of them. Are you call yourselves sea dogs? Show some spirit. There's plenty of spirits there, around. Yeah, Fargo. no, like show which one grabs nearest Wraith and waves at him. You know? <laughs> huh? Captain, look out! Oh no, there's more of them. They just keep coming. Damn, mateys, go help the captain. And sure. there we go. Hey, but to be fair to the pirates, they're holding their own. I mean, they're yeah. they're fighting all these ghosts. 
right? Uh oh, he's getting beat up. Oh no. Get your stinking ghostly hands off me! Man. Fargo is not to be messed with. Ha! Ah, looks like we got a big one coming. The jokes write themselves. <laughs> Tom, my arm. He been injured. Your name's Voltage, eh? Go take the wheel. Very trusting all of a sudden. <laughs> hmm. Don't. Hmm. Don't go there. Hmm. Do not. <laughs> oh. But I've never done it before! Oh my god. <laughs> Sundere bullshit. <laughs> no time to fuss. When I tell you to do it, you do it. Yes, sir! Aye, aye, Cap. <laughs> Keep your heads high, mateys. Don't forget we be pirates aboard the SS Invincible. Is that what you call it? Uh, you know that's what he calls it. Man your stations. It's time to show these monsters what we're made of. God, it really is just... Someone knew. <laughs> the, but what they didn't know was that we were going to bring Boner. <laughs> Stop, I have to fight a boss. Voltage, keep your head high. They're coming. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh, here we go. Surely an easy battle, right? These little guys? It's morphin' time. Our, by our powers combined. We become this oh, gross no. thing. They formed the head. I don't- I feel like Dead it would have taken more than five of them to make this thing, but whatever. They're very dense. That's what it is. Yeah, they expanded. This one's more gaseous. That's why it's floating. Ah, hey! There so, we, we want to destroy this thing, because it is gooey and gross. So I'm going to shoot lasers at it until it stops moving. Also, it's going to do that. Yeah... Element damage halved temporarily. That's okay. This is just a good opportunity to you know, physically beat the crap out of it. Also, it really doesn't make much difference because, like, you're gonna have to use elements anyway. Yeah. If for nothing else, like, you can use weak elements to push the black um, off the field effect and weaken it some. True. You true. won't do a lot of damage, but that way it's not getting a stat boost. Well, the weak ones wouldn't do a lot of damage here. anyway. Right. Death's, Death's odor. odor. That is... That is not a spelling error that is deliberate. Because, yeah, that's gonna curse people. Yep. Except for Boner, of course, who can't be cursed because he's black and eight. No, they can be cursed too. Yeah, but he's, like, undead, so he's not having it. No. <laughs> this is better. <laughs> Let's not put more black on the field right now. Yeah, the problem here is, um, boner, our boner here is our best asset. Yeah, because that thing's going to hit us with a lot of black. And he is not going to take as much damage. This thing has a lot of techs. Oh, please hit him with Absolutely, that. Absolutely, please, yes. What a waste of a black element. Thank you. The game tries to trick you by allowing you to put Pip in your party right before this fight. Uh-huh. <laughs> who is white. Yes, and that is how you lose this battle. Oh, they're not cursed either. They've got the other black status effect. Is it blind? I always forget the statuses. Yeah, because uh, each element has two, and I can't remember. When it becomes Voltage's turn again, it'll say. Uh, yeah, that'll be alright. Yeah. Probably do need to cure Boner, though. I'll get him back on his feet, don't you worry. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I am not sorry. He's just such a good character. Oh, not again. Oh, Death's Odor again. 
I hate this boss. I really do. If it's just gonna keep hitting boner, though, that's fine by uh, me. Okay, he is cursed. Yeah. So... This is why they give you the panacea. I didn't put it on, but it's okay. Uh, it's alright. Uh, Having yeah. him uh, heal himself. Do your little dance. I love it. It's very good. Oh, Ooh, there nice. we go. And then, yeah, it's going to use Imbecile, of course, but it's going to use it on... Oh my goodness, thank you! Man! Deadhead! Wow! Thank you so much! You've been very cooperative, actually. Usually this boss is not nearly this kind. The RNG is good in this fight. I am loving this. Oh, ah. Uh. Oof. Oof. Ow! Oof! Ow! Oh god, oh she my survived! God. Oh. oh, that's so close. But at least she gets a chance to heal herself. Might uh, want to use that yeah. recover all. Because that way, there's a white on the field cancelled out by that black, but this will also push that black out. Whoo wee. That hurt. Please die now. I think that was it. Yep. Yes. You got him. I love this death I animation. You killed me. Good. <laughs> All right. That was a Yay. very good. That was a very good death head fight. Yes, that could have gone much worse. And there's our star. Finally. All right. Look at all these Ooh, bonuses everybody boost. gets, except none for Flowey. Yeah, and, and none for Gretchen Wieners. Boner gets 13 hit points, oh my nice. goodness. Yeah, he's a tough character, weirdly. Hey, got a Hell Soul. He can also drop Hell Bound, which is the improved version, yeah. uh, but that's like the rare drop. Yeah. So. Looks like the sea's back to normal. You said you were heading to Fort Dragonia to go after Viper and his men. Let me give you some advice. Mount Pyre is a fiery hell. Without any protection against fire, you'll lose strength fast. I suggest you go see the Water Dragon for his divine protection. Although I haven't heard much about him recently. Wonder if that dragon's still alive. Actually, I haven't heard much about the other dragons, either. And those monsters we just beat. What's going on nowadays? <sighs> I tell you, even the sea seems to have changed its nature. It's probably because we human folks have come around. Oh my! A pirate getting all sentimental? In the name of Davy Jones. What have we done? I like to think that's him responding to Flowey. Like, what, <laughs> what hath science wrought? <laughs> what have we done? Oh, uh, well, uh, but speaking of, I think that we're done. Yeah. At least for this, this round. So uh, while Pixel saves this, I'm going to thank you for joining us. I'm going to thank you for joining us. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, this, fun. this was a fun one. The pirate ship is always a fun level. Um, and please be sure to uh, join us next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, which is New York and Miami time here in the U.S., on Twitch, where you can participate live in the fun. <laughs> and um, if you're not already following and subscribed on Twitch, that definitely helps us out a lot. And it means, too, that you'll get notifications when we go live so that you won't miss the fun. And be sure to follow and subscribe to notifications over on YouTube as well. I will upload this video over there to the playlist tomorrow as soon as I can. Um, and you can find all of our Let's Plays on the YouTube channel. Make sure to follow on Twitter and Facebook, too, so that you can stay abreast of what we're doing, participate in polls, mm -hmm. and uh, have a vote in what games are coming up next on the channel. We'll catch you either 
For more Chrono Cross on Monday, or for Disciples Sacred Lands on Thursday, Betrayal and Antara on Saturdays, wherever you join us for whichever series, um, we'll look forward to having you there. We always enjoy your company. Yeah. And uh, until then, as always, thanks for playing. <laughs>